Hello! Today I'm going to be showing you how to use and access your Edmodo backpack. The Edmodo backpack is one of my favorite features on Edmodo because it allows students to upload um, and save links and files um, to their Edmodo account and you can access those links and files from any computer um, with internet access. Let's start. Uh, to go to your Edmodo backpack, you go up to your top menu bar here, the blue bar, and you'll see a backpack icon which you can click and it will take you to your backpack. Your backpack is organized into four main sections. You have backpack items, folders, turned in, and Google Drive. Let's start first with backpack items. Uh, your backpack items are all files and links in your backpack. You can organize them by files or by links and you can view them either as thumbnails or as a list. To add something to your backpack, you just click here on the Add to Backpack button. And now you have a choice of either adding a file or a folder. Or if you click on Link, you can either add a web link or an embed code. Let's try adding a link. I'm going to go up here to my browser and I'm going to click on the link for Manga High. Manga High is a great math website, so I'm going to add that link to my backpack here. So I'm just going to paste that link that I copied here. Now you'll notice underneath there's a field for the title of the web page. Now if I just click off here onto the white, usually Edmodo will find that title all by itself. Sometimes it may have difficulty and you might need to type in a title of your own choosing. So this one says mangahigh.com, play maths, love maths. So I'm going to add that to my backpack. And there it is. And you can see that's right there. And if I click on that, it will open up Manga High, just as I would like. Now, the next thing I want to show you is folders. Let's go to folders over here. Now, folders, by default, everyone is given a favorites folder. Uh, I've also created here a folder called Dinosaurs. If you want to create a new folder, you can choose New Folder button here. Click on that. And I'm just going to create a folder called Math Links. I'm going to click Create, and there's my new folder here. Now, I'm going to go back to my backpack item, and I want to add these features here, these links here. Now, as I don't have very much in my backpack, I can um, simply click on one here, and then you'll notice I have this All button here. I can just click on that, and now all of those links are now checked. Here, you'll see a folder with a plus sign. I want to add those links to other folders. So here, if I click on that, I can see Add to Other Folders. I do have a search feature right there. If I have a lot of folders, that comes in handy. Um, I only have three folders, so it's not so important for me at this point. I'm going to click on Math Links. I can choose more than one folder to add these to. If these are favorites that I'm going to access a lot, I might want to click on that Favorites. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave them as Math Links and click Apply. Now, if I go to my folders and click on Math Links, I'll see those links are already there. Okay, I do have some folder options. I can rename a folder at some time, or I can delete a folder if I don't need it. Again, I can also choose how I want to view the items in the folder. Let's go back to folders here. Um, I can also check folders like so and I can choose if I want to delete those folders from there as well. Okay, let's move to Turned In. Turned In is a great feature as, as well. Um, any assignment that you turn in on Edmodo will show up automatically in your backpack. And this is a great place to access your work um, that you've turned in. It also serves kind of as a portfolio um, and you can check in and see how your, your work has progressed through your years in Edmodo by looking through here. Uh, also, if your teacher has asked you to make revisions or turn something in again, you can access that file from here and continue to work on it again, and then resubmit that file in Edmodo. The last uh, section is your Google Drive. If you have Google Drive, you can connect your Google Drive account by clicking on the blue button here and um, accessing your account and giving permission to Edmodo to access your Google Drive. Okay, So there's one more feature I want to show you. I'm going to take you back to your home page. Now, 
Another feature, if your teacher has sent you a link or sent you a file, you can add that file to your Edmodo backpack very easily. Here my teacher has given me a math link for Prodigy and I can see the link right there. Um, I also see the backpack icon there and if I hover over it I can see that it says add to backpack. So if I click add to backpack, that link has now been directly added to my backpack. So if I go back to my backpack, I should now see Prodigy, and there it is again. Again, Prodigy is a math link, so I might want to just quickly add that to my math links, click apply, and now I have another link in my math links folder. That is how you use Edmodo Backpack. It is a great feature. You can store as much as you need to as long as files are less than 100 megabytes. Uh, there's unlimited storage though. So you can store hundreds and hundreds of files, hundreds and hundreds of links. Um, just make sure to um, organize your work, uh, organize your folders, and keep things um, easy to find. I hope you found this video useful and I hope you'll begin using your Edmodo Backpack.